Dude, this is a big one. Holy, that is one of the biggest fish I've caught in New York in my life. What is going on guys? We are back in New York. I'm actually gonna be in New York for all of May, mainly to visit family, but I cannot not fish while I'm home for an entire month. In the basement, I did take a plane home, so all of this stuff actually was delivered. It's been quite a process over the past couple months, organizing everything I needed for home to kayak fish and film and do this continually. We are gonna be rocking the Slayer 10, going old school. I'm actually looking forward to this. That one video where I was fishing with Dan from Headwaters Kayak out of that smaller Slayer paddle boat, it was, uh, was kind of refreshing. It was nice to have a smaller craft. I'm excited to continue rigging that. See with that black pack, got a new battery box over there. Just so you know, new Gyo Bait shirts are in, as well as a secret new piece of merchandise. That is gonna be pretty cool. It is a mess here. And actually, as luck would have it, I have a tournament with MYKBF this Saturday on Otisco Lake, and today is Thursday, so today is gonna be more of a vlog style and testing out the boat, showing you guys exactly how I rig it up. It is about 1.30. I've gotta run some errands. I do need to go get some last minute items, so I'm gonna keep you guys with me today, show you what I got, and uh, take you along to start off this series in good old New York. What's up, man? Yeah. See you too, man. How are you? How are you? Good. So, uh, yeah, so it was, uh, Ladies and gents, Justin. Hey guys, Fuzzy Guppies, hey. Waterloo, New York. Campsites, boat rentals. Man, you sell them, right? Yeah. At the screen. <laughs> Smart baits, they change color. Based, pretty cool. Based on water temp, or? Right. We got all the stuff here for the NYKBF, there's all the prizes and everything here. Justin is the tournament director for NYKBF, and this Saturday, first tournament of the year on Rotisco Lake. That should be a fun one, right? Should be fun. A lot of people are pretty fishing it, pulling out um, a Really big small mouth and large mouths already. Really? Yeah. yeah, here at Fuzzy Guppies, just gotta pick up a few things and then we'll keep making our way around town. Justin was kind enough to uh, lend us some necess necessary items. Paddle, some straps, good to go. Thank uh, you, sir. We'll take care, everybody, no worries. <laughs> no worries, have fun. And we'll be seeing him soon. All right. All right, stop number two. Bike store, upgraded pedals. New pedals on, off to Home Depot. The heat gun, PVC pipe, nuts and bolts. One more stop today. Alrighty, Bass Pro had what I needed. <sighs> Alright guys, so to give you a little update, it is well, it's about one o'clock in the morning. I've set up the battery box, the black pack, the GoPro mount, the landing gear, seat risers, graph, propel drive. Crazy thing is I still have a ton of rigging or like setup to do. I'm at a blocking point right now and I feel like I need to go to Home Depot. I need to get the correct bolts. But uh, yeah, this Ram transducer arm for the fish finder is just not matching up. So definitely making some making some ground. The boat is looking good. I'm gonna go to bed. Gotta go back to Home Depot tomorrow. See you guys tomorrow morning. Hopefully we can take this thing on the water before the tournament because uh, I want to really test this out. At this rate, we are not gonna make it. Gotta drop something off. Gonna do a little giveaway for the tournament tomorrow. You know what, I was gonna do more of a formal announcement on this, but uh, I'll give you guys a little sneak peek. So I got new inventories of the shirts, new Mondo Bass, new logo. Check this out. Hey buddy. What's going on? I think I'm ready to actually test the boat out a little bit. Yeah. Ready oh. that for the giveaway? Yeah, if you don't, I was, I was, I was thinking you changed this logo. No, the, no. I was, I thought, yeah, no. No, I no. changed Oh, that that's one. cool. Yeah. That's cool. A little cleaner. Just add the stickers to it. But just like so, so much, it's so smaller though. I like it. Huh. You know what I mean? Yeah. As I rig up, guys, just letting you know that I'm mainly just wanting to get out there, fish, and feel out the boat. I'm not going to spend the time to go over a full tour. I'm actually going to want to fish out this for fish out of this for a little more. I kind of dial it in, and then I'll go over the boat. But this is what I've I've got now, and there's more to do. But. Uh, I will do a tour and overview of all this stuff, including this guy right here. I know there's gonna be a ton of questions on this guy, and you can probably guess who made it, the old wizard. God, light is a feather. Here we go. And remember, this is not my Titan. <laughs> all right, that feels nice. 
Got to slime the boat. That'll work. Oh, I technically slimed it, right? Something's jumping over there. It's just, oh yeah, something's getting spooked over there. I think there's probably a pike over there. Oh, yeah, pike. I think I got to try to catch the pike. I think this is what you saw jumping. Yeah. Uh, that's a pike. Oh, he's got my little bait too. I don't want him to take it. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Hmm. Very strange. There we go. Oh, it's a big one. Big one for New York. Pre-spawn fish. I think they're munching on those craws in here. Look at that nice fat one right there. Just like the good old days. That was our first true slime of the boat. A bass in the boat. May not be big, but that is a fun bite. That's a nice New York fish right there. Remember guys, they don't get that big here. This is definitely a nice one. Oh man, that is a nice bass. Wow, beautiful fish. That is just a healthy, clean looking fish. Oh man, there's nothing wrong with this fish at all. Pretty much just doing a little punch rig setup. Got a three-aught trocar flipping hook here. The snell knot, 15 pound fluorocarbon. Just taking a little uh, biffle bug. I think this is watermelon candy. Just going up through the nose, a little Texas rig through that cavity. Stopping the weight right there and just dragging this along. I'm, I'm flipping and pitching it, but I'm dragging and get most of my bites just dragging it. So that's what we're gonna keep doing. That's a toad for New York. Dude. Awesome. <laughs> yep, get back in the water. That's a nice fish though. Yeah. Dude, this is a big one. Oh my God. Holy crap. That is one of the biggest fish I've caught in New York in my life. Oh my God. Holy crap. It's one of the biggest fish I've caught out of the canal. These fish are all so healthy. Dude, that is so cool. Holy cow. The tank. I don't know. I'm really remember seeing like fish that big in here. No. Nah. I got it. I literally have to go in like 10 minutes. I keep saying that, but like, yeah, right? I've got nothing set up for tomorrow. Like, 
It's bad. I read their mouths, huh? That's another pig. <gasps> They're bigging. Oh my god. Alrighty guys, that is gonna do it for the video. Oh my gosh, it is 5.20. I definitely fished way too long there because I need to do some stuff, but it was totally worth it. That was actually one of the best days of fishing I've ever had in New York. You probably caught like 95 inches in an hour and a half. Yeah, maybe more like 90 inches, but yeah, I have the tournament tomorrow, like I keep mentioning, and I am running a little bit short on time, so I'm going back home getting everything ready, all those odds and ends, hog trough, getting the net set, all that stuff, and tomorrow will be a tournament. So this boat was fun to fish out of for the first time. Everything went smoothly. Yeah, that is the video. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you later. Next video should be the tournament. So I'll see you guys then.